What's up, Anifanix? TechMagna here from UltimateDroidOfBlockSpot.com. With me, I got the Nexus 7. I'm be showing you how to install Paranoid Android on your Nexus 7. So right away, as you can see on my desktop, I, I do have two zip files. So let me zoom in so you get a better look at that. All we're going to do right now is transmit those two zip files onto our tablet. So right away, just plug in your uh, tablet via micro USB. So via micro USB uh, and the other side to the USB port of your laptop or computer. Now since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be using Android File Transfer to transfer those zip files. If you're on a Mac, uh, I will have a link in the description below to download and install Android File Transfer for your Mac-based computer or whatever. So you can see it's opening up right now, and I'm going to be transferring these two files, Paranoid Android and GApps. And as always, I'll have a link in the description to the actual ROM. So, and also you must have Clockroom Recovery already installed on your tablet. If you don't have it installed on your tablet, you can look right there. I have to install Clockwork Mod Recovery for your Windows and for your Mac. Guides right there. So let's give this a few seconds. All right, it has opened up. So I'm just gonna be transferring these two zip files onto my tablet. And if you're on Windows, you can just transfer the usual way, like you usually transfer music files or any other files. And you can just put it anywhere you want. I prefer you not put it in any folder. That's just me, but you can put it in a folder if you want. Alright, the process is complete. As you can see, those two files have been transferred. And I can just unplug your tablet from your computer and I'm doing the rest of the process on our actual Asus tablet. Now we're going to be entering our tablet into bootloader mode and then entering into recovery mode. So it doesn't matter if your tablet's on or off, just hold the power button and the volume down. Just hold them, keep holding them down, hold them at the same time and just keep holding them down until you see a green Android and a green start screen. Alright, should not be on this screen, and like I told you before, we already have Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, at least you should. If you don't, you can look um, right there for how to install it. So I'm going to press the volume up twice, one, two, and power button to enter into recovery mode. Okay, next we're going to go to wipe data slash factory reset, and select yes. So uh, the clearing process that we're going to be doing first will uh, help get rid of all the uh, software uh, devices and all that. So it'll help you get rid of a lot of problems. Next we're going to go to wipe cache partition and select yes once again. Now we're going to go into advanced, wipe Dalvey cache and select yes. Go back, install zip from SD card choose it from SD card and find that paranoid android not the GFs just paranoid android as you can see mine is right there so I'm going to select it paranoid android PA and this will take a few minutes so please be patient once that is complete we're going to choose it from SD card and find that GFs also known as Google Apps so that will install all your Google Talk, Google Play Store, all those um, Gmail as well so GFs and select yes so it's going to install all the APKs like GF, Google Talk, uh, Gmail like I said earlier now we're going to go back and select reboot system now and now you're going to reboot into paranoid android RAM so I'll wait till it starts booting up and the boot up will take five minutes because only for the first time because you're installing a new custom RAM so please be patient on the very first time. As you can see, that is a paranoid boot up animation for your Nexus 7. So I'll be right back when this is done booting up. Okay, it's finished booting up and I just set up all my information like my email, all my Wi-Fi and all that. And I'm going to go into settings and actually show you that you're on paranoid Android. And take a look at it. Let's go into about tablet. And right there, as you can see, you're on Jelly Bean, of course, because this is a uh, Nexus 7 tablet. And you can see it is based off a of CM10, Sidegen and Mod 10. And you can see the Android version, which is 6.12. So that is the latest Paranoid Android version currently. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And as always, if you want to check out the whole RAM review for this uh, actual RAM on the Asus Nexus 7 tablet, you can look right there for the whole RAM review. So if you, if you should install this or not, um, because it does wipe all your apps and all that, not music data or anything like that. So all, um, 
check out that uh, RAM review right there if you're wondering if you should get it or not. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe and rate if you haven't. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your paranoid Android RAM.